Hello again there friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to the colony of Raptoria here in Planet Base. Our third episode now begins as we've got a little bit more of an expansion to our base and more colonists on the way. As you can see, I've added a few minor buildings. It only took a little bit of time to uh, construct them, including our wonderful storage. Now we can finally store all of our things, including food and other materials that we need to expand the base. So everything's looking real good. Added an extra oxygen tank, uh, or oxygen uh, creator generator there and then also we're going to add a power collector so everything's looking good I took a second to organize things and kind of figure out my layout and now things are going really really well so welcome back good to see you all here again thanks for smashing that like button to see more planet base and welcome again to everybody who's a new sub and of course those lovely lovely members we have ourselves 27 people living on the planet I'm starting to see the end game of this game already including the ability to make our own bots, but also the ability to uh, import some technology that we don't have access to yet. For example, larger farms and other real endgame stuff that'll really save us a lot of time as they'll take a lot more space to do jobs that we won't have to expand more and more to do. In other words, we could build a giant dome here and connect it once rather than having to build six different domes and connect them several times. Also, the further people are away from the dorms, for example, then the further they have to walk to their jobs and such. So building the dorm back here in retrospect, might be a good idea to maybe delete this dorm here and then build it over here so that way people have access to their jobs and then can make their way to the canteen, for example. But it's all good. We'll figure it out as time goes on. Plus, I need to add some more power buildings, but we'll see how this one goes here very soon. Raptorian steel is being made like no other place on, uh, in, on the planet. In fact, we're the only ones who make steel. We have the Monopoly. We're the only ones here. We got ourselves the mine, which is producing a heck of a lot of ore, which is great because all the buildings inside, if we take a look, are really pumping away. We're making a lot of that uh, plastic, which is used like... An, in, an insane amount of plastic is used in this game. I can't even believe it. Starch and plastics are incredibly important. So let's go ahead and see how that all goes. And good, we built our new power generator. One thing I've also noticed, too, is that I can actually trade for money in this game, which I've been training for raw materials because my mind immediately goes back to Dawn of Man. Again, remember, Dawn of Man is the game that was inspired by this one. So Dawn of Man is a game that kind of came out later. So the system in Dawn of Man doesn't have money. It doesn't exist yet. But in this world, it does. So let's go ahead and see what we can trade for. Uh, here's the things that we need to trade for, by the way, like Goliath turbines and whatnot. Maybe I can do a little bit of research for that, but as far as I know at the moment, I can buy it, and that might be a better thing. However, I want to buy that bioplastic because that stuff is very, very important. I'm going to trade for a little bit of our medicinal plants and some food to get that. And some steel as well. Steel is something that we're really creating a lot of, so I don't need to worry about that as much. And then we'll trade the rest for money. Beautiful. That's another thing that I forgot, that I can always trade for a little bit of cash to s just sweeten the deal a little bit more before we trade. That'll be good enough for me now. Let's go take a look at the power collector. Excellent. That's constructed, all complete. And now we're creating, uh, let's see, 120. That's amazing. We're creating double the amount of power that we're consuming, so that's a perfect thing to do during the days is to store it all up. And if we ever need extra power, this will give us a little bit of time to uh, prepare to expand our grid by having extra batteries along. I like how it stores it like water. The, the, these tanks here kind of just fill up like a water tank would from the bottom all the way to the top, just like Drake. All right, we're gonna go ahead and try to see if we can add some more buildings here. Uh, let's see what we got. Bunks are good. Looks like everybody's got a place to sleep. We don't have enough bunks for everybody, but again, we don't need one for everyone since some people are still working. Oh, it looks like the med bay is working really good. Oh yes, and medical supplies are coming in too, so people are getting healed up, no problem. Probably should build another uh, thing here at the factory. I've adjusted my population too, so I can get some more engineers and uh, and biologists to work on the farms and also on the uh, production of spare parts. I want more spare parts because if I expand the farms, they're going to require a lot more spare parts. And I need to do that in order to get more starch so I can make more plastic. And the vicious cycle repeats. Let's go ahead and build another uh, thingy here. I've been trying to go with corn because apparently it's like a... Uh, low maintenance thing. I don't have to do as much. Oh, come on. There's a little bit of space right there. Oh, reep. Oh, that's okay. Well, anyway, we'll slowly expand. Oh, you can hear the uh, solar panels moving. That's really cool. They need those in Donna Man. Could you imagine if they linked their games together where Donna Man could go into modern society and then modern society goes into this game? Wouldn't it be cool if there was a game that linked together like that? They almost could go together smoothly because they're so similar yet so different that they feel like they would be like a whole new game. It's kind of like in Spore, you know, when you start out as like an amoeba or a cell or whatever, and you have to work your way up to a uh, space transfer or trace, uh, what? Space like something. Uh oh, what? Oh, 
I thought there was an asteroid that just hit the base. We're out of medical supplies again, but our scientists are hard at work bringing some of those medicinal plants back over to the old laboratory. What else can I build in the lab? Let me see. Oh, yeah, that Vertra meat thing. Uh, the, we're just going to go ahead and call that Impossible Burgers. I, I don't even know what they use to make those. I think they use plants, maybe, to make more, like, high protein. I, I don't know. We'll have, to, we'll have to see. Good, we're bringing some more of that uh, plastic in, so that's great. Plastic makes it possible. All right, what else can we build now? Ah, we have our robotics facility, bot construction and repair facility. That might be a good thing to build around here somewhere. Um, maybe we could build that where the dorm is and move the dorm over here, so that way it's, like, smack dab in the middle, so that way people can walk. I, I kind of want to keep them, like, between these areas, mostly. Because they'll have to walk through their jobs. Uh, this is a better central area for that all. So let's build another dorm. So we'll squeeze our dorm in over here, I guess. And uh, that'll be just fine, since it'll be closer to people's work. Ah. <clears throat> More colonists have arrived, so probably good timing for that. Yeah, so they won't have to walk as far now to get to things like the dorm or whatnot. Uh, or from their work. And the canteen's a little farther away, but a lot of people are still passing through here on their way to and from the uh, landing docks or whatever. Plus, I can also put a uh, airlock over here so way uh, people can go and repair and build some of these buildings too when we expand the power grid. Luckily, we won't need to do that. This thing holds 12,500 power, and we have an excess of uh, about 90... 98 is what... or well, about 100 is what we're producing. Always changing because of the wind speed and the sun intensity. So it's kind of unpredictable, but so long as we store the power, then we at least know we'll have power, so that's good. Yeah, you can see here the robots have to go outside, so it'd be a good idea to build an airlock here so the bots can go outside. So let's connect these two together. Biodome connecting right to the, uh, there we go, the other dorm. And then we'll reclaim this dorm, get a lot of materials back, and we'll build that uh, robot facility. What else can we build? What would be a next good move for us? A bar? Ah, this is perfect. We could actually expand over here the facilities for the crew. So once the dorm is complete, I might be able to build a, do uh, a bar here, a fitness center, a few other things around for, like uh, around that area. That'll be perfect. All right. Let's see. Are these two machines being used? Oh, yep. Engineers are working on... Oh, biologists are actually carrying stuff around. Has he got an exosuit on? That might be how they're carrying these giant boxes. It kind of looks like some of these dudes are like in exosuits. So that's kind of cool. Like in uh, Death Stranding, if you've ever seen that game. Uh, small cabins here. Sleeping facility with more comfortable beds. Dead end. The structure can only have one interior connection. Oh, that's weird. So this cabin is a little bit more comfortable. Probably would increase happiness, but uh, we're trying to... Uh, happiness is not dying. Uh, yeah, that Raptor 2020. Happiness is not dying. Yeah, go ahead and quote me. Alright, we need to make some more steel, though. How many people do we have working in the mine? Oh, it looks like we got more workers going in there. Perfect. So we have three workers in there now. Or well, we should shortly. There he is. Perfect. All right, that's good. We'll eventually build more mines as our base expands. And uh, actually, this is a good spot here for the miners, too. But I think most of our crew are actually biologists and engineers working inside the facility rather than workers working outside the facility. And I don't want these robots to drive all that way anymore, so it'll be a good idea to build an airlock here. So let's see if we can expand that onto here. I think once this building is done, I'll be able to build a connection to it. We'll probably get rid of these power buildings and replace those with power producing buildings. So we're getting ready for the big change now, the big O upgrade. Let's see how power works at nighttime. We're going to be producing quite a little bit of power. So we're only overloaded by about uh, 30 here. And this it'll be pulling from this one. Oh, that's going to be perfect. We have more than enough power. Let's speed up time. We're out of medical supplies again, but we do have our two medics there who have two different deaths to work on. And we only have one person who's injured. Medical cabinet can hold the four supplies. So as soon as nobody's being injured, uh, we'll be able to stock that up. So that's going to be good. Wow, look at that dorm. It's completely full. All right, we're going to have to actually make sure this new dorm is ready to go with a complete set of beds and stuff before we uh, get that. We'll slowly change it. I'll slowly remove beds from here and then transfer them over there. And then once all the beds are removed, then we'll delete it. No need to be too hasty. We've almost got 30 people on the colony. Beautiful. Glory to Raptoria. No deaths from starvation. Nobody dying from any... From any meteorites or anything like that. That's good. Well, that would have been... Good Good thing uh, Good thing that we haven't seen any meteorites hit or anything like that. That would have been bad. Oh, 
boy. Imagine getting killed in the medical bay. <laughs> Be like, oh, thank goodness I survived that cave-in at the mine, the droid attack in Sector 2, and also two days without food or water. I'm in the medical bay now, and then you open your eyes and you just see uh, what looks to be a planet coming towards you. And you're just like, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, one more metal over there and we should be good. Takes a little while to get there, though, because they got to walk outside. I wish I could, I really wish I could put little uh, airlocks and stuff here and make the base more, more tight like that, but... Oh, well. Now this guy's got to walk all the way over there and it's annoying. You know what would be cool is if our people could build little vehicles to transport themselves. You know, like instead of... Uh, bots just make people be able to go faster outside like in Donna Man they have carts so it'd be cool here if our people could get into like solar powered vehicles and you know travel across the map faster especially if they were carrying supplies that way they don't get as tired all right a lot of people standing around here folks let's get to work we got a lot of work to do we still need more plants with starch it seems I want a good storage of starch so let's build some more uh, oh food stocks are low all right let's get to work on that then We'll make some more mushroom storage. And we still need more starch to make that bioplastic, too. Yeah, I suppose our population just increased pretty drastically. Let's make some more thingies here. And do I hear a ship coming in? Hopefully it's a trade ship. And perfect, it is. Good. Good timing. All right, we have five bucks to trade. Let's see what we can trade for. Ah, an onion recipe, a GMO onion. I think that makes it so that way they grow uh, more effectively or produce more food. Speaking of food, it'd probably be a good idea to trade for one of those. Well, we have two vegetables. So we could try, uh, trade for some meat, but there's a 65% commission on that. And we want people to not die, but I don't, really don't want to get rid of the spare parts, but I think we're going to have to. To prevent people from dying to death. Alright, that's close enough. Let's see. Yep. Alright, that'll be just fine. Alright, now we got plenty of food, plenty of meat coming in, plenty of meals. These guys always make it look like they're delivering a pizza. You know when the pizza man comes and he's got that big bag to keep the pizza warm? That's what it always reminds me of when they're carrying those. Okay, let's get rid of some of these beds now. And we'll get some plastic back for that. Maybe this will help us to build some other stuff. Let's get rid of three. And we'll build one over here. Just to get us started. Try to build it right in the absolute corner. Okay. Goodbye, ship. Excellent. So now we've got eight pieces of material. Uh, food that can be turned into actual meals, so that's good. Miners are doing a good job, too. How are we doing with uh, power? Good. Water? Good. Those are great. Alright, very good. Yeah, too bad we can't do things like sell batteries or something like that. That'd be kind of cool. Alright, more components are being built at the farms. Luckily, they've got enough scare... Uh, scare... Scare... Scare parts. Spare parts, is what I was trying to say. To uh, continue to repair those things, and we got enough biologists to continue to make starch. And it looks like both. Ah, oh, perfect, yes. Alright, the production facility is working as I'd hoped. Excellent. Soon. Soon. Little improvements here and there. And the robot here to deliver. Excellent. Medical supplies. Looks like we got ourselves another doctor needed over here. I wish there was a way to connect these two together. Bom, bom. It would shorten that trip so much. It would really increase their job efficiency. Okay. We're going to need to make another bed, I think. Let's make another one. We'll make them in the corner here so I can make pathways out, or at least attempt to. It's going to be our biggest, most important thing now to build is uh, more and more of that plastic. I'm making enough starch, it seems, but it takes a while for these engineers to work on it. All right, two bunks down now. That's good. All right, this dorm is full, so they'll have to start sleeping over here. And this dorm is full, too. Nope, somebody's getting up. 
Bum, 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 bum. All right, let's build another bunk. I don't think I can build any structures here, although I'd like to. Let me attempt. Let me see if I can put like a f fitness center. Just to know if I could put anything here in the future. Nope. Ah, waste of space. Well, we'll at least put a bed down here then. Need one more bed to get back to where we were. Good. Alright, then eventually this will be our robot producing facility. Looks like minerals are being brought back. Love those bots. We need to start producing more of those. That's why we're going to get that facility up. I'll probably have to buy... Oh boy, we got more colonists coming? Excellent. Yeah, I don't mind that. That means I can get more biologists, which means more food and starch. And we got plenty of food here now. Look at that, 10. Excellent. Let's make some more medicinal plants for our doctors. Looks like they've... Well, they might have enough, actually. Let's keep going with the corn. It grows slow. It's low maintenance. But when it's ready to go, boy, oh boy, is that good. And we can always change these around, too. Once I need to uh, change supplies or whatnot, we'll be okay. Ah, another beautiful day on the planet. Power reserves are great. Gorgeous. We'll change one of these to a windmill later. Good. All right, what else should I do in the meantime? Well, the control center might be a good idea at this point. Um, let's see. Cabins... External buildings. We could build a sign, which will attract more people to the camp, I think. But I don't think we need to do that yet, either. We do have a starport, advanced landing facility, large colonists, and trading and visitor ships can land here. Ooh. We'll need a bit more uh, metal, though, before we do that. I think we need a bigger canteen, too. It's kind of annoying, though, because if I delete this canteen in order to build a new one, we lose connections to everything. So I suppose what we'll do is we'll leave that canteen there. And maybe see if we can build some cabins off the uh, the robot thing. So that way people can still sleep down there. And then I'd like to put down another canteen over here somewhere. Jeez, I can't believe we can't... We can't build anything off the dorm. What about an airlock? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I want to make it so our people can get out on this western side. There's access to the south, the east. We could let our people out in the north. Small little uh, building here, maybe. I feel like this would be better for structures, though, if we, if we build over here. All right, well, let's go ahead and build an exit, then. So our people can do more construction outside. Who is this? Oh, a training ship. Okay, what do we have here? 50... Oh, you don't really have... Oh, it's a medical trader. Okay. Uh, we could always trade for money, though, for future trades. Hmm. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep what I got, sir. Thank you. Can I dismiss? There we are. Thank you for dropping by. Now, we could have traded for some medical stuff, but we do have uh, medicinal stuff here that the scientists just need to work on. Looks like we need more plastic to do stuff. But that'll come in time. Our people are okay. They're not dying or anything. They can wait. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, look at that. Our people are doing a great job at the farms. Let's do some other stuff here. Mm, I guess we can't. Not without more plastics. That's what I want to do. I want to be self-sufficient. So I'm trying to uh, not do as many trades now if I can. If we do trade, it'll be for money, and then we'll be able to trade for things that we really need, like blueprints. That'll be a good trade. Alright, looks like we have, what, two, four, six, uh, two, four, six, so twelve beds. Okay, not bad. Looks like not everybody's tired. Wow, look at the amount of people working in this place. This is crazy amount of traffic. This is like a mall at this point. It's amazing. And we've got lots of food. All right, we just got to get those medical supplies up now. That's reliant on plastic. Let's go ahead and build another medicinal plant then. Actually, let's let's build a medicinal plant up here so they don't have to walk as far. Although I don't think I can make a tube to connect these two. That's annoying. I really want to make um, connections between buildings to make 
make walking faster. Well, hopefully... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Boom. Plus six starch all of a sudden. Excellent. So now we'll start making a lot of that plastic. We need to make another processing center. One to deal with just strictly metal. So we'll probably convert this one to metal. Then we can do a plastics facility over here next to the biodome as well. So let's prepare for that. We'll make this a plastics facility. Somewhat close to storage and somewhat close to the uh, to the biodome as well. Wow, look at that. That thing's getting filled up. Seems to me like they should be able to stack things on top of each other and or keep the uh, vending machine full. Ah, yeah, that can hold several things. Takes a little bit of time to make the food, but it's doing its thing. Okay. All right, the medicinal pad built now, so now we've got ourselves a few more workbenches ready to go. Robot broken down down there. Make a connection between these two now. <gasps> that deleted her desk. Ah, that's fine. All right, another ship with colonists. All right. That actually, I think, is a medic, is it not? Who is that? Engineer. That's not a bad thing, either. Well, at least we got plenty of storage here for food and other things. And we might need to do another storage building. Seven and seven on those big ones. We just have to be better with our production efficiencies. Looks like a little uh, wind turbine being repaired there, too. And a beautiful day again in our beautiful, beautiful settlement. Excellent. Well, things are going really nice. Looks like a few folks need water, but they can get that at the canteen. We'll connect these two together as well. That's why I'm trying to build that airlock, so that way they don't have to work as, uh, walk as far. It's a good idea to build an airlock when you're temporarily building a section of the base and then you can always delete it and replace it with something like a oxygen generator or whatnot. We could build another canteen up here if we want to. Maybe make it a little larger so that way it can uh, produce more food and it'll be closer to the... Ah, this might be a good thing to build here. A nice central location to immediately be supplied with the food. And very close to storage as well. We'll put storage over here too. Okay, I'm starting to get the base layout in my noggin. Airlock has been built. Excellent. Now just connect it. And complete. Beautiful. Oh, looks like one of our uh, construction bots was damaged irreversibly. And we'll need to uh, con uh, construct a new one. We've lost it. Our first death. A robot has died. Somebody forgot to charge him and plug him in. And the hard drive was wiped. Oh. A tragic day for our people. Alright, well, let's go ahead and recycle some of these beds now. We are starting to get some more plastics. So I'll try to build a couple more beds here, too. See how many we can squeeze in here. This might be a dead end for now, but uh, I'll assess it again later if we build another bigger dorm. Oh, looks like a building will just connect here, so the dorm will be a separate building. That's fine. Okay, let's get rid of the old the old dorm. Say goodbye to the old dorm. That was a large dorm, by the way, too. Is this a this is a medium sized dorm? So we're fitting more people in in that small space. But now look at all these supplies we have. Beautiful. Oh, sandstorm now. That's funny how that uh, connection dis disappeared. All right. Bot storage is built here. Doesn't look like we can build that there. Boy, that's really irritating in this game. How certain buildings can't be constructed next to each other. So we'll have to build something else down here. Maybe more storage or something for the miners. That might be a good thing. They can walk right through the canteen. 
Well, I guess we'll put our bots buildings up here. So we'll make this more for personnel over here. So we'll put our bot buildings up here and more factories as well. Okay, let's see if we can build storage down here. And this might be because there's boxes in the way. I'm not sure. Maybe it'll clear out and I can put something down there. We'll wait a little bit. Looks like another colonist has arrived. People are going to get injured out there in that, that sandstorm like that. Man, I really wish there was ways to connect these buildings together like that. Well, we're almost ready to start building larger buildings now that we've got more people here. Another processing plant has been constructed. Good. So now we just wait for that tunnel to be complete and we'll start switching these over to... Uh, these will be from metal only, which means we'll need some more miners. And uh, we don't have a full workforce on miners yet. The storm is going to be quite crowded, but at least it'll be more space effective than the previous one. So we should have two, four, six, twelve... Uh, sleeping quarters there. Hmm. Apparently I achieved the space farmer accomplishment. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's go ahead and build the uh, polymer producers. Luckily these only take one metal. We'll get rid of the other two. And we'll convert this solely into uh, creating um, metal, which will be nearby. Okay, this looks more clear now. Can I put anything here? Huh. Well, without the dorm being there, I think at least the people are more central to the main base. This must be that medical trading ship again. And since we got a few people in sick bay, I think I'll make the trade now. Let's see what we can trade for. Well, we've got plenty of food. Let's see here. Yeah, our people are taking a while to make the medicine, and I want to get these people back up on their feet, so let's try to get some of our things going right away. 106, let's trade some more food. 141. Good, a fair trade. Yeah, let's trade for that to get our people back up and running. A couple of these people are injured and if they're uh, laying around like that, they're consuming oxygen and food and not putting anything back into our uh, into our base. So that's not good. It looks like the canteen's a bit far now from them. Well, time to build our new and improved canteen. We'll build the big O canteen now. And we'll connect it that way. And the robotics facility has been built. Excellent. Now we'll just connect that via the pathway next. Soon can never have enough plastics in this game. It's crazy. We have nine starch. I need more people working on the plastics over here. Get those full buildings operated. Now, is there a way to designate what can be stored here? That would be helpful to designate, like, here only store, like, metal and food and then build another one to only store, like, starches or something. That would be helpful. That would shorten the length of walking. Looks like that ship's getting loaded up. More food than ever before. We'll have to keep this canteen down here. I don't mind it because people are always hungry and thirsty. And uh, that's something that's really good, especially if they're going to be working outside in the south. A lot of good territory down here to build into. So I'll have to find a way to expand southwards. I suppose what I could do, I wonder if I could build like another airlock. Like, what if I made an airlock here? Oh, it has to be extended to an already existing building. Oh, that would be really nice if I could build a, uh, you know, like an external section and then another internal section, like over here. Oh, we could make an airlock that goes out there, but that's a little, little much. But that might mean I can make something... Oh, perfect, we can make storage down here now. Can't build a large one, but we can start with a small one. Oh, we can do a medium size. And even a large, actually. Although I really don't want anything to be brought down here. It's very far away from the main base. So maybe I could do the robot building down here now. Uh, we could do another one if we wanted. Oh, that's perfect. Although I, I assume they're going to be quite expensive. Let's see what we can do the ro with the robotics facility in the north. <gasps> we can actually make one a 
bot auto repair in a bot workshop. An engineer can build bots here. Oh, perfect. We'll do one. Oh, actually, this is great. Because if they're working north or south, they'll be close to repair and production. So we can build robots in the south, and they can go through this airlock. And we can build robots in the north, and they can go through uh, probably an airlock up here eventually. Build an airlock in the north. Excellent. Soon. Soon. All right, this is good. We just need to make more of that plastic now. Got to get those uh, engineers working on... Our workers working on that plastic right away. Let's take a look at what we've got for landing permissions then. I'm going to need a lot more workers. So under landing, we've got currently 10 workers. So some of them are working in... Uh, currently we have 10 of them. Some of them are working in the mine. But a lot of them are working on building all this stuff. we got to recycle this one and build them all over there. Excellent. Just seems like it's a good idea in this game to build whatever, wherever. And it looks like power is falling, so it is a good time to build a new power building. Let's build ourselves an increased... Uh, I wonder if we can build a Tier 3 wind turbine. Ah, we can build a larger turbine now. Hmm. Yeah, let's start... Building the bigger turbines now. And then we'll delete... Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if I want to delete. Well, we'll start with a bigger one. We need to fill all those sources. So we're using extra power. So the only thing I can think of doing is possibly shutting down the mines since that consumes 4.5 if we need to. Drastic, drastic uh, measures if needed. We should have enough steel though shortly. Need some more miners working in there. It looks like we are producing steel. Although we are producing uh, the canteen and the other building there. Although I can't. Oh, I can make this a higher priority, yes. And the connection, too. I don't know why these need to be connected via pads like that. I wish they were all just little power lines. Feels like it'd be a more uh, effective thing. Okay, and we'll need that workshop to be completed too. So steel we'll have to trade for next time. As soon as we have an opportunity to do so. Okay. Wow, look at all the people in the base. This is It looks like a mall. Seriously. Look at all those people. Alright. Well, we gotta get some people working outside the base, too. People are thirsty. At least we got the dorm shrunk down to a more efficient size. And we are excellent. We have medical stuff in storage, I bet. Yes! All right, medical problem solved. Yay. Excellent. We got stuff in storage. We got a surplus. Beautiful. We got workers making plastic like no tomorrow. We got more metal being made, too. Let me build another one of these, just so that way ore is not sitting around. It can be immediately made into metal. And we'll get a metal out of that one, too. Beautiful. Alright, and we got ore coming out. Okay. So I'm assuming if we're going to get more people living here, I'm going to need another dorm. So we could build another dorm. Really wish we could build a dorm off to the dorm. But we could build another dorm off to the canteen. Although I don't want to build them too large yet. So let's just do little baby steps. So that way I don't have to use too much materials. Wow, that was close. Okay, so the power thing needs to be built next. We're running a little low on power. That'll give us a nice big surplus again. Dude, we've made some incredible progress here. Lots of people hungry, no kidding. It's a little bit of a walk to the canteen. It'll frustrate me if people are like, Well, I'm gonna go lunch I'm gonna go to lunch, Larry, and then they start walking to the lunchroom and then die on the way because they're too hungry. I hope distance isn't too much of a problem, but that's why I built the second canteen. 
And it looks like the pizza deliveries are still coming. Ooh, look at that. That machine is getting overloaded with food. Okay, oh. Ah, yes, nice onion meal and stuff. Looks like they're making basic meals. There might be advanced meals that'll give them more of a boost. That could be a good thing to have. All right, looks like the uh, canteen is almost done. It's going to be perfect right next to the farm. They can bring all the food from the farm right over there. Beautiful. Let's try to build some more food then. Let's do some... Uh, let's see, I still want more plastic to be made. So let's see, slow production and low maintenance. I like that. We still got plenty of food, so let's keep doing that. I want low maintenance plants. So that way I can uh, focus all of our spare parts on robot production and repair. I wonder what it takes to make a robot. I'll have to learn. All right, steel is another new thing, so we got to get some more workers here for that. And unfortunately, without one of those carrier bot, I think it was a carrier bot or a construction bot. It'd be nice if I clicked on these and it gave me a breakdown of who's who in the base. Okay. Oh, it's nighttime and we have no power. Well, we have power, but it's uh, we have no backup power. I'm going to go ahead and shut down our backup water extractor, and nobody's working in the... Well, one person is working in the mine. Oh, what is this? A T. Dead end. The structure can only have one interior connection. Ah, okay. So we can't have, like, uh, areas breaking off from there. Okay, we have eight starch. Excellent. The plastics factory is working very effectively. Looks like the uh, metal factory is going to be fired up here in a second when more iron ore gets delivered. Lots of food ready to go to the canteen. Even the canteen itself is a production building. It's producing uh, meals. So it's a good way to get all the uh, food out of the, out of the storage area. And we can put something else here. Power storage is low. They are not wrong about that. So we are going to see a shortage of... Oh boy, we're going to see a power shortage here shortly. So I'm going to take, um, bite the bullet now and shut this all down right as we right as we need it. That consumes 4.5. This consumes 2, so we'll shut that down too. We got plenty of water in the water tower. It'll last us a little bit. Until that other uh, wind turbine gets done. And it looks like the ore is starting to be made into metal now, too. Beautiful. Oh, lot. Look at all the sleepy heads. Wow, look at all those people in there. Oh, uh, oh, whoa, whoa. What's going on up there? What was. What's going on? Couples night? Oh, well, someone's going to have to sleep on the couch. Uh oh. Netflix and GTFO. Wow, look at all these people's lack of social distancing. All right, things are going really well in the camp. We're going to get that power back online again as soon as that other generator is made. And then we're on to robots, everybody. So I'll see you all next time. Everything here should be fine as soon as the power kicks back on in the morning. Got to pay that power bill. You know how it is. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Thanks for the support. This has been going really well so far, so I can't wait to see more. I'll see you all next time for more. Goodbye, everybody.